What's up guys, Coach Mandler here, Team Swole Patrol. Got a belated Flex Friday routine for you today. I was driving down from um, Indianapolis down to Jacksonville, Florida. I was born and raised and uh, just you know took a little bit of time. It's a little bit of a hike, but nevertheless, I got a kick-ass Flex Friday routine for you today to kick the week off right. If you wanna get a bigger, more dense, ripped up and well-conditioned chest, set of delts, Triceps, biceps, and lats. Today is going to be the routine that allows you to do just that. So check out this routine, throw it in, and let me know how it goes for you. All right, the way we're going to start this routine out is the way we're going to start every type of training routine, and that's with a priming set where we're going to try to stimulate the nervous system and get our body used to moving fast and explosively through the movement pattern that we're going to be utilizing for our core lift that day. Since today is going to be me doing um, you know, a little, bit, uh, a little bit of incline work on my core lift in a repetitive manner for hypertrophy, I'm going to be doing those plyometric push-ups and just to kind of open the hips up a little bit because I was a little sore from the day before, I did those snatches, but that also builds a little bit of a hip and shoulder mobility as well, more shoulder mobility, but nevertheless, it's a great way to, to really get your body used to moving fast and explosively and waking up the muscle fibers that you want to put to work, put to task for some growth in the region you're going for, which right here with the inclined bench press is going to be for your, your pecs, your shoulders, and your triceps. Quick note, I was using 65% of my uh, my incline max there. If you don't know what your incline max is, it's usually around, I'd say, 85% of your flat bench press max. So do the math there. Uh, get 40 reps on that 65% in as little sets as possible, and you're going to get yourself a nice little, uh, nice little pump and a nice little forced hypertrophy there for your chesticles and your delts and your triceps. All right. After that, we're doing some some overhead work. This is a throwback to my strongman days, dumbbell jerks. Um, I like throwing these in every once in a while. I usually do just kind of a, a one arm strict press to focus more on just building uh, maximal strength. But uh, every once in a while, I'll throw those in. And here, I'm just super setting them with some good old fashioned dumbbell rows, working on them lats. So it's a little bit of a kind of a push-pull uh, circuit there. I wouldn't quite call it a uh, you know antagonistic agonist type superset because it's not a horizontal push followed by a horizontal row. But nevertheless, it is a good type of push-pull superset that works on the weak points that we're not only trying to to force more growth in, but also trying to to force more strength and uh, strength endurance in our weak point muscles for a bigger lift in. So accomplishing two things there. And the, the, the third thing we're going to accomplish here, given the fact that this is one big weak point circuit, is that we're really going to increase the metabolic response. We're going to be burning fat, getting, uh, getting more ripped up, while also forcing more growth in those areas. Okay? And of course, the way we're going to finish up this routine is working on the pipes, doing some, some tricep work here, incline dumbbell skull crushers. If you notice when I'm doing these, I'm not just you know keeping my, my elbows fixed, I'm kind of rolling them back. That kind of makes it easier on your elbows when you kind of roll them back and roll them forward to initiate the movement. Super setting that with some close grip incline press and then doing some good old fashioned curls. Working on them, uh, working on them pipes. All right, sun's out, guns out. Time. It's about that time of the year, so got to make sure I'm showing them some love as well. Even though they're not really that key or crucial for building a bigger bench press, which is one of my main goals. Still, nice little way to even out the pump and build those sleeve splitting pipes that you want. Hey guys, if you dig today's Flex Friday routine and want more of the same, be sure to hit the like button and of course subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of the tips and routines I'm going to be hooking you up with on a daily basis in the future. And if you're trying to be able to put together better programs that allow you to build more functional, powerful, and well-conditioned muscle mass, the type that allows you to look good while being able to kick ass, 
then do yourself a favor right now and pick up a free copy of the Muscle Building Blueprint that I put together for you by clicking on this button right here. When you do, it'll take you to the next page which breaks down every powerful module you're going to be getting in this free gift and tell you exactly why it's going to allow you to build more of that kick-ass functional muscle mass that you're going for. Like I said, it's completely free of charge. You just click on that button, I'll take it to the next page, which breaks it all down for you. Appreciate your time, guys. Have a good one. Mandler.